mysteries of World of Tanks. Apart from why why is KV2 so good? Why are there so many kind of punishment tanks in the game? But the other sort of big mystery for me is why are the tier six mediums in this game so goddamn fun to play? Time to roll out. There's something about this tier and this white class that when they combine leads to something quite fun. I'm not sure if it's to do with I guess the the scale of the game that you're playing that you go up and, you'll go and meet tier eight tanks and sort of the worst and sometimes you'll be higher up. I, I don't know. But yeah, T3485, really good tank, really fun to play. Tier six medium. Cromwell, really good tank, really fun to play, tier six medium, and better. I generally think British tanks are shit. There I said it. Cromwell is not only a good tier 6 medium tank, but it's a good tier 6 medium tank in the country, like a, a tech tree that I go, eh, about for the most part. And then there's this, the VK 3002M, which I think in this game is like the prototype Panther. Um, the man company basically went, this is our design for it, and look, it uses, I think, like an existing turret, you don't need to make it. And I believe that's why it was picked over the other one, which was I can't remember why it was like. I think it's saying that this one goes like yeah, we're using like a bright metal glossy turret, and that's that's cheaper and quicker to make. You don't need to screw around with anything. Done. So I should note that this is kind of still the stock-ish. I think I put a better radio on it and I'm in the process of unlocking extra governs for my tank needs. Hopefully there's an option for a better gun. I can't recall if there is or not right now, but the reason I kind of pine for an extra gun is because of what's going to happen here. There's a ARL B39 in the spot of trouble. He's far forwards. And there's the tiger. Now I'm thinking, yep, Enemy armor is damaged. just shoot into the rear of the tiger. That guy is. I, sh I should be able to just. Penetration. Yeah. Enemy I should just hit. be able to, you know, deal with him before the ARL dies. <clears throat> Does it happen? Well, no, because this Enemy this tiger, quite rightly, is incapable of giving a fuck about. Oh, and there goes the ARL. About this sort of panther prototype sitting behind it shooting it in the back. Destroyed. Doesn't care. Okay, like we do get eventually in the T-43 next to me basically helps with some shots in the back of it. But it does feel a little I guess undergunned <coughs> at times. Versus I mean versus a tier seven heavy in the rear, I feel like I should be able to do it. Then. So one of the advantages of this not being a fully sort of upgraded version is that it's not that fast right now. It's not a nippy medium tank. It's sort of on the I was going to say the tanky end of the medium spectrum. It's got a sort of accuracy. <coughs> it it doesn't necessarily need to be up close and personal. So, for instance, in this game, I spend most of the time in columns four, five, or six, just because I can't push that much further. And acting as kind of like a roaming support is the way I prefer to play mediums. I like to go, okay, well this person's coming around this way, and they're probably going to get shot. So what I'll do is I'll set myself up in a position where I can make sure that if they do flush that person out, it won't be there'll be someone there to shoot them on their retreat. Penetration. Um, and I think, to me, I go, that's the way I really enjoy playing this game. I like... I know it's hard to coordinate with people when you don't have any way of really communicating with them. In a pick-up game of World of Tanks, it's, it's pretty much impossible to coordinate. So you have to look at not just what the enemy are doing, but also what your team are doing and try and respond to that. I don't think there's any... that there's much benefit to not reacting to what your team is doing. And obviously in an ideal world, you know, you'll be the guy that's leading and every and other people 
follow your lead, but that's not always going to happen. And I think to improve your chances of winning, generally speaking, you're going to have to accept that you're not always going to be the guy that does, that leads the charge, that makes the big plays. You've got to be there. You, you just have to be there and do your thing. And so we win. Well, okay. Yes, you want I do has to get hunted down, but there he goes. So yeah, there we are. VK 2002M, a surprisingly comfy medium tank.